Also breaking this morning, families in Port Natchez and surrounding areas are finally allowed to return home. Good morning and thank you for joining us. I'm Andy Sirota. Good morning. I'm Tanaya Wright. Just moments ago, officials lifted the evacuation order for that area. This comes now two days after an explosion at a chemical plant. Channel 2 Sophia Ojeda joins us now live from Port Natchez where a news conference just wrapped up. So Sophia, what have you learned? Good morning, guys. Jefferson County officials and a spokesperson from TPC, they just told us that that fire is now contained. That evacuation order for families has now been lifted. Now, officials say there are still smaller gas pressure fires burning two days after that initial big explosion at TPC. Fire officials reported the past two days they've been dousing the flames with 35,000 gallons of water a minute. They've now been able to lower that amount of water to 19,000 gallons per minute. Officials say they are confident with the water being doused on those fires, the chance is very low of another widespread explosion. But they are urging homeowners, once they start to get back home, there could be white chalky substance on your property, could possibly even be inside your home. Their advice, do not touch it. Any debris or any suspected debris needs to be left alone. Um, there is a uh, concern, uh, as the judge alluded to, around uh, what asbestos would look or feel like to you. Um, but any debris that you have is potentially contaminated debris. Um, and there's two issues. One, we don't want anyone that's not qualified to remove that material to remove it and expose themselves. Um, and two, uh, this debris, if it is contaminated, has to be disposed of properly. Officials say if you find that debris on your property or inside your homes, call the TPC hotline immediately. That number is 866-601-5880. Don't worry, we'll put that up on our website. Again, officials telling everybody that that fire at the TPC plant now contained evacuation order has been lifted. Also, the curfew has been lifted. Officials do say there is a quarter mile radius, a restricted area near the plant. They are telling folks that do not approach that area. If you live there, you will have to show ID, an address showing that you have to be there. Officials don't have a suspected cause of the explosion yet that is still under investigation. As far as the air monitoring is concerned, they, they're telling us it is okay. They will continue to monitor the air as long as those fires are burning. Reporting live in Port Natchez, Sophia Ojeda, KPRC, Channel 2 News.